Alright, hello YouTube. So I'm going to be going over the shift box today. This is going to be a little mini tutorial. And the shift box, all it does is it takes your input value and it slowly increases it or decreases it into decimals of 0.1. I'm not sure if it can go lower. But uh, that'll be our tutorial today. I'm going to be using it for a throttle. I don't want to just have a 100% throttle or a 0% throttle. I want, you know, increments. So we're going to be using the shift box. So the shift box is just a little tiny box, kind of like your kilometer or your speedometer, and you just take it and you spawn it anywhere you want. Let's have this one in this neat little corner right here. So right there, and now it's on our vehicle. Uh, our vehicle looks a little bit different. I added a radial engine just because I was messing around, and I also added a propeller hub. However, they're quite glitchy. Like the radial engine, it's sound doesn't care about what your settings are in your audio. It just doesn't care. You can lower this to zero or you can lower it to 100% and the radial engine will make the same sound every time. So that's just a little bit of warning. It is very loud. So I have to turn down my uh, PC volume or the Windows hub. And that's kind of annoying. <laughs> and uh, if you start it up and you play in game, randomly it'll just You'll hear it, uh, so I can be in Builder and I'll just hear it start up, and this will be not affected. You'll just hear it start up. So a little bit buggy there, and the propeller hub's a little bit buggy, as in it changes. <laughs> uh, sometimes it wants a negative degree pitch or a positive degree pitch. You'll see right here. So propeller hub, you have to add a propeller hub on top of the engine, and it'll just want sometimes a 10 degree pitch or a negative 10 degree pitch it's completely random it like changes up on you and messes with you but anyways our tutorial is about the shift box the shift box needs two inputs or an axis input i just use two inputs because i know what's going on i haven't messed with the axis input yet so we want this to go into our throttle and the way that we disconnect the throttle is we just hold ultimate or alt <laughs> and we click on throttle so now that we've disconnected that we use this and we put it to our throttle and that's going to make our throttle go up as you see let me lock the camera here window we're going to edit lock camera uh okay i've already made it go to there um so let's add a new throttle this one will be called throttle up this one will be called throttle down oops throttle down and i want it to sign it to q so W for increased throttle, Q for decreased throttle. Since I already have S for my brake. Uh, the brake is basically a jet engine I added. Uh, the jet engine just propul or shoots a jet outward in front of us to slow us down. Because the brakes on the tires are a little bit weird. So we put the decrease to decrease throttle. And shift it goes up to our throttle. So now if you see, we can lower it. And we can increase it. So we get like a percentage. We can go to one, two, three, or whatever. It, it goes a little bit finer than that. Uh, however, that's the only thing that pops up on this. One thing you want to do with the shift box is for your minimum and maximum, you want to change that. So the radial engine accepts from negative one to one. However, it doesn't go negative in throttle. Like you can go negative. It'll let you go to a negative value, but it doesn't go negative like the actual um, drive shaft. It doesn't go in reverse. So I usually use it to zero to one. That way I don't go into the negatives. And I also added a number display. And the number display is basically gonna tell me what I'm at. So um, if I'm at 40% or if I'm at 1% or 0%. So I just connect that, shifted right to there. Then it'll pop up and I also changed the number display to percent P that just adds text in front of it and I also put decimal offset to two so it'll go to two decimal places um, right here this only shows one but it's actually outputting two so we'll see like a percentage and I think we're all done and we're hooked up so let's go ahead and exit this exit the builder one more thing I want to talk about is that black thing down there called the ballast. The ballast adds weight. Um, if you see here, I can click on it. 
Oh, no, I gotta go below it for some reason. Unlock. The ballast adds weight to your vehicle. See, I have it 1,500 kilograms. And basically, it just changes your overall weight and it can mess with your um, center of gravity. So, I added this because the vehicle acted like it was on ice. Randomly, it would just spin around in a circle, or if you walked up to it, it would push sideways, not straight with the wheels. So, that was a little bit odd. So, I read a forum, and apparently, all you have to do is add weight because it just feels like it's a feather. So, any force will just move it. So, I added 1,500 kilograms to get about 2,800 grams uh, or kilograms of weight, which is about uh, 5,000 pounds or more. And that helps it a lot. You can obviously use less, but uh, that's just the one I found works. So I'm going to exit the builder. All right, so I'm going to go back to the home. So just go to reset. Let's make sure we have our vehicle added to our inventory or whatever, the ball. All right, so now if you see, I push it, but it takes quite a bit of force. Oops, let me try and stop it. Oh, never mind, I'll just go over it. But I don't think I can push it from the side. I've tried. It takes a little bit more. Yeah, see, it takes quite a bit of power to push it from the side. So now let's go ahead and get in. Uh, beware. This sounds a little bit loud. And there we go. We have it set up. As you can see, our power is at 0%. Our brakes work. <laughs> uh, and now let's increase our power. 100% power. And the rotors change their wanted direction. They want to go backwards now. So uh, let's just push up this mountain then. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and... It doesn't let you shut off the engine, I found, if you just press S again or whatever. I might have to change the settings with that. Now you can still hit the engine no matter how far away you walk away, and if you go into builder, you will... If you go into the builder mode, you'll still hear the engine. So what I like to do is just throw another one wherever it went. <laughs> Okay, either way, we don't have it anymore, we don't have that sound, so now we can go into the builder. Miles product, project, window, tuner, we go over here to the propeller hub. So the radial engine needs propellers, obviously, so you just attach a propeller hub. At first it'll just look like a block circle kind of thing, a circle with blocks around it. And once you go into the tuner mode, it'll like magically appear with propeller top and blades on it. So I want to use a positive 10 angle offset. Hopefully that'll work now. <laughs> so there we go. And now we just go to exit, exit builder. And exit again. While we were saving. So now we want to get our vehicle. Oops, that's the wrong one. Tutorial card. <laughs> Haven't bothered to change that yet. All right, so there's our vehicle. So we're gonna start up our propeller with X, and hopefully we'll go forward. We go forward now. So I'm pretty sure you can add a gearbox to this. However, I don't like messing around with those. I have tried, and they just don't work for me. Let's try and use our brake now. Oh yeah, there we go. So now we have a reverse option. But yeah, like I was saying, we can add a gearbox to this, and the gearbox is just kind of annoying. Like, it doesn't work, and it does work, and it doesn't work again. Or, I'm just not figuring it out, actually. It's not that it doesn't work, it's that I can't really figure it out well enough. So, as you can see, we have our increments. 100% power, I can go to 85, we're going to travel slower. Uh, just, the shift box is a very nice option. See, it acted like I was on ice a little bit there. So with the shift box, we can go at 100% power. If we press Q, we can go down 67%. However, or before, we would just press W, and it would put it at 100% power. Now we can add increments if we want to go a little bit slower. So let's just go ahead and jump off this. And boom, boom, and we're upside down. All right, so we added the shift box, which helps smoothly adjust everything. And the propeller hub, I think, just switched again. Oops. So watch, if I increase the power, it's gonna make me go backwards. Not because we're on a slope, but just because 
propeller hub is a little bit glitchy. I'm at 100% power. And you just saw it going forward, and now it's going backwards. So, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, if you guys know what's wrong here, please leave a comment. Because I can't figure it out. It's very annoying, because it just automatically switched. I think if I spawn a new one, it's, it's kind of like a random game. So maybe it'll let me go forward. Uh, no, it's gonna let me go backwards. <laughs> Alright, so there's your shift box, and a nice little addition to the tutorial car. I will see you guys all later and upload more content about this game, hopefully more tutorials as I learn more. And just remember that the community board and discussion board are your best friend with this game. I'll catch you guys later, drop a like, subscribe, and comment please.